We've been enjoying uh, Google Homes and decided we wanted to go a little bit further with the uh, automation of the house. So I picked up some of these smart things components uh, over the last couple of weeks for some really great sale prices and I decided to give them a try. I got the hub, uh, the motion sensor, multi-purpose sensor, and a uh, couple of the buttons there. And I'm going to be using these to actually automate uh, some items in my shop and actually also uh, the root cellar that I've been talking about for years. And that sensor there is really a um, multi-purpose sensor and this is just a uh, motion detector that works good. And there's the brains of the system. It's a hub. So for my shop, I'm going to start out with a, uh, I had a bunch of these Wemos and that vibration sensor. Now the vibration sensor has a magnet in it and I'm just going to stick it onto the uh, front of my table saw here to just give it a try and see how it's going to work. And then I'm going to plug the uh, the Wemo in that's hooked to the, the smart, um, smart things. And I'm going to replace that old uh, RF remote control there that I, uh, I've been using for a while now because I keep losing the remote and it doesn't, you know, it just turns on the uh, dust collector. It doesn't really do anything else. So plug that all in and then I turn on the saw and the vibration sensor picks up the vibration and the dust collector starts immediately and it runs perfect. Uh, it seems to work good. Then I hit the off button on the saw itself and it takes 15 to 20 seconds before the uh, the machine stops vibrating enough that the sensor sends a, uh, a good signal to the smart things. So it looks like it's really going to work good for um, you know automating the dust collector here. I tried it with the Google Home but I had problems with too much noise in the shop so it couldn't hear me and it just didn't work. So here you can see kind of you know it, it does shut off and decided to just stick the vibration detector on the planer there too. Turn that on and See the dust collector kicks right on in a couple of seconds, the minute it picks up vibration, and then it does take you know 15 to 20 seconds for the vibration to go away and the dust collector to turn off, which is a good thing because that'll clear the lines out before you shut it down. So the next thing will be to start automating the gates for the machinery. So uh, I plan on doing that this winter when I have more time, but this looks like it's going to be a, a really good way to detect that the uh, machines are running and turn on and turn on and off the dust collector and it will re work reliably and I'm going to see if I can find some uh, cheaper switches and stuff like that and another one of the little buttons I put up by my wood stove it's just kind of stuck up on a light out of the way and it senses the temperature when the stove is running now we used to have to go in and our our fan for circulating to the back of the house is up in the uh, wall and we have this fan that also kicks on and there's a circulation fan. So now I've got it hooked up so when it hits a certain temperature, the uh, the fans turn on and circulate the air. And then, you know, once it drops down, they shut off. And it really does work reliably. And you can see, you can't really even see it when you're looking at it from the front. And here I got the motion sensor just kind of detecting when you walk out to the great room in the morning it turns the lights on for a couple hours and that works good and everything actually does integrate with this uh, Google Home which really is pretty stupid but you know if you know what you're looking for it can tell you plus um, it also all runs on my new Samsung TV so I can just sit back on the couch and turn things on and off run programs and you know see what the temperature is in the root cellar or, you know check the wood stove and everything else so you know, really, it looks like it's going to be a great thing, and um, I'm not going to get into setting all this stuff up because it really is fairly easy to do if you follow the instructions. So here you kind of see you just use a remote control for the TV to, to pick things, and there I'm turning on a, uh, a light that's right next to the TV there, you can see. So I can control that on and off, plus it's also programmed to come on and off for certain times of the day and stuff like that. So it really does, um, it does make that Google Home really smart and uh, allows you to do things that are you know just kind of running in the background and then it's vibration detector open door detector temperature sensor it's kind of an all-in-one multi-purpose sensor I'm gonna be using some of them down in my root cellar um, I just brought one down to see if the signal would reach and stuck it on the, the shelf down there and everything's fine works perfect it's not too far from the router or anything so, you know, in the future, I plan on making videos about actually uh, 
automating the uh, the temperature control in my root cell or making automatic gates that work with these uh, these sensors and switches and stuff that should really make it easy to integrate and um, you can see I've pretty much got everything there just I'm gonna have to figure out how to replace the batteries in the units with um, actual plug in the wall jack there because batteries don't do good in cold so I just wanted to do a you know a quick overview of this and you know there you can see I got some really good deals and there'll probably be more coming up on Black Friday plus I'm gonna be actually looking for some lower cost sensors and stuff to work with it you know in future videos now this is what I have received so far and I do have some uh, extra Samsung cameras for um, indoor cameras and some of their bulbs coming also to you know to start to expand this a little bit so the system looks like it'll be a um, great start for automate integrating automation in my home thanks for watching please subscribe